Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram, then you know on Mondays I always post a Motivation Monday. And what that is, is just one I, I pick one item each week for you to declutter. You have all week to do it. These items should only take about 15 to 20 minutes. Obviously, if you're a collector of those items, it might take you a little bit longer. But the goal is, is just to tackle something that you have a lot of, that you haven't had time to deal with, that just creates a little bit of clutter. And we just do one item a week. It just kind of helps you get motivated a little bit. So that's why we call it Motivation Monday. Well, last week we talked about doing the um, loose recipes. And I thought I would come on and show you how I'm going to organize my loose recipes. Because this is something that I have been meaning to do. I have a bunch of recipes in the drawer and um, I'm struggling now trying to find a recipe because I keep printing them out and building it up. So I thought I would bring you along and show you how I organize my recipes. The I am still waiting actually on um, two items from Amazon, but in the meantime I wanted to get started and show you how to go through your recipes. So the first thing that um, you're going to need to do is to figure out the tabs or your categories of how you wanna separate your recipes. This took me a few, took me a little while to figure out how I wanted to do this. Um, and all of a sudden the light bulb went off and I thought why not do my categories in my binder um, just like I do on Pinterest because I know where to look for. So that's what I did. I came up with 20 categories and the reason I came up with 20, um, and I'll get into this a little bit further, when we, a little bit deeper when we um, actually put the binder together, but I bought these tabs and they are um, customizable. There's 10 tabs and the reason I purchased these is because they are extra wide dividers and the reason for these is, is because if you have regular dividers in I plan on using um, plastic sleeves to put my printed recipes in and regular tabs will come even with those past plastic sleeves. This will go beyond that so you'll be able to easily um, flip through it. And the nice thing about it is it has like this little um, index on the front. So number one and you would put, I'm not sure if you can see that, it has like number one and you would put advertisers number two. And then I figured even though it's a repeat one through ten doing two of them, I still can do it. So that's the reason why I came up with 20 and um, I thought I would go over a few of them just to give you an idea and I also will insert the slides that I made for last Monday because I actually gave some examples on those slides of some categories. So I am doing air fryer, dehydrator, beef, breakfast, beverages, casseroles, chicken, and then I did desserts and breads together, low carb meals, uh, Mediterranean meals, Mexican, pork, potatoes. So they are the um, 20 categories that I came up with. And here is my stack of recipes that I have to go through when I am looking for a recipe. So what we're going to do first is after you decide what your categories are just get yourself some little pieces of paper and as you can see I just wrote down the um, categories and what I'm going to do is lay this out on the table I'm going to just put it around and then I'm going to grab a handful of my um, recipes and I'm going to place it um, where that category is so that way it's separated and while I'm going through them I'm also going to reevaluate that recipe uh, does my family really like this recipe when was the last time I made it um, if it's been a really long time do I really think I'm going to make it again and then I'm going to and I realize I didn't do it is have a pile for recycle so I'll have a little tab that says recycle 
and anything that I decide that I don't want to keep, that we don't like, that I tried, and it's just not something I'm going to make again, I'm going to put in the recycle pile. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now I have my recipes and I'm just going to go ahead and look at each one and just start separating them. I am now done separating all my recipes that I had in the drawer. Um, I do have a couple magazines that I'm going to either copy or rip the pages out of and just get rid of the magazines and put them in here as well. So um, now that everything is separated, I'm going to um, leave it out here on the dining room table and then I'm going to take each pile. I did pull out some of the recipes that I knew right away that I wouldn't use. So now I'm just going to kind of go through each pile and just kind of reevaluate each recipe and see if I will use it. And um, any recipes that are in bad shape, I might go ahead and just um, either print them out again or rewrite them depending on um, what the recipe is. So um, that's where we're at now and as soon as I get the rest of my Amazon um, shipment I will go ahead and pick back up and finish vlogging and showing you how I put my book together. All right my friends well I have been waiting for my Amazon packages to arrive. I used that time wisely and I went ahead and went through all my recipes and weeded out the ones that I no longer wanted, didn't like, the family wasn't crazy about and then I listed all my categories and I narrowed it down. I did have to um, finagle a couple things and decided like for instance um, I have side dishes. I do a lot of potatoes as side dishes so I have a file that says side dishes and then I'll have another folder in that that says um, potatoes because I can only use 20 um, dividers based on the way I'm doing my book so I wanted to make sure that I used it wisely. So I will have um, kind of like subfolders. But anyway, um, so what I did was I went through, weeded out the um, recipes, like I said, and then because I'm such a visual person, and I know I tell you guys this a lot, I decided to create um, little tabs with pictures of the food that I've actually made, and then I put them in a sleeve that I can put in the binder right in front of the tab. So now I not only will see tab one, I'll also see the picture and the name. So I wanted to show you what I did. So for instance here, it says green salad and this is a picture of a Caesar salad that I had made and I inserted the picture and then what I did was and this is something I'm going to show you that I ordered on Amazon one of the things I was waiting for their uh, sleeves to protect your papers and these are great for recipes when you can pull the recipe out and you won't get um, anything on it. Put it in there and I'll put it in the binder and I'll put it in front of the tab and I will show you how I put together my binder. So what I did was I did this for every category that I have in my binder. Now, there were a few categories, uh, for instance, um, Pork. I did not have any pictures of the pork, of any pork that I've made, so I did pull a picture off the internet and just use that, which, um, you know, I can't really share that with you, but I was thinking that maybe I can make a PDF um, file and I can share that with you guys, so if you're interested in having um, these pictures here, I can absolutely share it and what I'll do with a few that I did not have a picture of that I pulled from the internet, I can just remove the picture, have the um, category title there and then um, down the road when I do end up making a recipe with that category title, I'll go ahead and insert it and then share that page with you so you can update your page at a later time. So if that's something that you're interested in and you would like to put in your own binder, please comment down below and I'll be happy to uh, go ahead and pull that up and save it as a PDF, not a problem. But anyway, I want to get into 
And I think I shared a couple of the items that I had already had. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm going to show you what I'm using for my recipe binder. Now this binder here, I have a white one. Um, I really love this binder. Um, I use it for uh, soccer. I'm the team manager of my son's soccer um, team. And I have a white binder like this, and I really, really like it. It has a spot here where you can put um, a spine insert. And as you can see, I've already started working on it. It says the Brown Family Cookbook. And then I inserted, it has a little pocket here where you can insert. And it says the Brown Family Recipe Book. And this actually is a picture of my son um, breaking open a um, dessert. I, I can't remember what it was. Apple, apple fritters it was. And I just love the fact that it's his hands on the, in the, uh, on the picture. And I thought that was kind of cool. <clears throat> and then, as you can see, the binder is a D-ring binder. I prefer D-ring binders over the round binders. I just think the papers move throughout the binder a little bit better. And it does have a pocket here, which is great where you can if you, uh, put in, um, I mentioned before about using your, um, like your toaster, pamphlet, brochure, instruction booklet, or any kind of um, air fryer or crock pot. You can put those things in here and that way you always have it. So this is the binder that I'm using. And this is an older binder that my son had that he didn't use, um, like I said, because these are the ones that I usually buy. But I will link the um, binder in the description below so you'll be able to find it if you need it because you can get this on Amazon. And then I think I shared these with you. These are the um, extra wide tabs and they're numbered 1 through 10. I bought two packages because I do have 20 categories. And <clears throat> let me see if I can open this up and share it with you the inside so it has this sheet here that will go in the front and what I'll do is take this sheet and the other sheet from the other pack and put them in the front and it'll say one and what I'll do is my first category will be air fryer recipe so I will also link these as well below if you're interested in these and then I purchased um, protective sleeves. And these did not have, it's funny, when they came, they came in a box and they came loose. I think I ordered 200 of them. And they came loose. They, were, they weren't shrink wrapped or anything. There was no label on it, so I can't show you that. But I think you have an idea. They're actually Amazon Basics, which um, I will link these as well. They were very inexpensive. And as you saw, I put my um, pictures in there to put in front of each tab and then I'm going to go ahead and insert a recipe in here and you can use this two per um, thing if the recipe is on one page put one in the front and one on the back and then we'll put those in and then the last thing that I purchased was recipe sleeves they are they hold a four by six re recipe card um, and You'll be able to slide in. I'm not sure which way it goes. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> okay, there we go. So you will be able to put a recipe card in each one. And um, that way you don't have to rewrite it. And what I love is with this is that if you have recipes that belong to your parents, your grandparents, a special aunt, or just a friend, and they have it written out in their own handwriting, they're special and you don't want to rewrite that so that's why I love the sleeves because I can just go ahead and put that um, recipe card in there and you have that card with their handwriting on it so that's why I kind of like that so those are the items that I purchased from Amazon to get this recipe book put together and again like I said if you're interested in these pictures here I'll um, create a PDF file and what I'll probably do is just um, share it on my Facebook page um, but let me know in the comments section if you want me to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and take you down and show you around the table of all my categories so you can kind of get an idea of what I've done and like I said there are a few pictures here that I did pull off the internet that are not my pictures and um, those obviously I cannot share with you but I just wanted you to know that you know I'm not gonna take credit for those pictures but let me take you down and show you what I have okay my friends um, 
I went ahead and pulled up the template for these Avery uh, tabs. Mm -hmm. And I went on the Avery site, like it said, and used the template. And for some strange reason, it looked great, but it would not print correctly. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to print correctly. And I was using practice paper, by the way. Um, so I just went into Word, pulled the template into Word, and um, did it in Word, and I had no problem. So I just wanted to show you real quick. So here we go. It's numbered 1 through 10, and I did it in alphabetical order. Um, and just listed all my categories. I have the air fryer and dehydrator, appetizers, andouille sausage, crock pot, went on down. And then my next one, um, I just continued it down to where I now have 20. And let me show you here. So now I will have all my tabs here. And then what we will do is this will go in the front of my binder. So I'm going to go ahead and open my binder up now. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right in front of my binder. Okay. And then I have one air fryer and dehydrator. So what I will do is grab my air fryer and dehydrator recipes and um, I'm going to go ahead and put that behind this tab and then I will know what it is and then I'll just continue to work. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I need to finish putting the recipes in the sleeves. So now I went ahead and put in all my recipes for my air fryer and um, have them there. My dehydrator, I only had one recipe for this and it's something that I experimented with so I actually do not have it typed up which I'm going to go ahead and type that up and then I'll put it in a sleeve. But I'm going to show you how I put this in the binder. So I will open up my rings and... As you see, I already put in the two things, and my first number one item is um, air fryer and dehydrator. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tab. And though I'm, what my original thought was is one was like air fryer, and I was going to put this on the front of it like that, so it would be in front of the tab. But the only problem is, is if I have more than one item, um, more than one category under this tab. Um, it's not going to um, work out as well. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to play around with this idea. So I might just leave the tab like that and then do the tab, put that in, then do my air fryer, and then have all my recipes for the air fryer to go in like that. Ooh, it's slippery. Put those in like that and then I'm going to take my dehydrator and put that in and what that will do is I will be able to quickly as you can see when I go like this I can find that let me pull that back a little bit when I um, do this it quickly goes right to my dehydrator recipes and I know what's behind it you can also just get those little post-it note tabs and put one on here if you want but as you saw I was able to get to that really quickly because you can see the picture. Okay, so now I'm working on my appetizers and here you'll see I have two index cards. Um, one is a spinach ball recipe and the other one is a crab ball recipe. These are recipes that my mother-in-law gave me and it's in her handwriting. So what I want to do is take the divider that I had shown earlier and just put the card in there and I don't know if um, I don't have a lot of these so <clears throat> for right now I think I'm just gonna do it this way instead of putting back to back and there you have it now I have the recipe cards in there and then I will just put that with the recipe appetizers and then I will go ahead and put these all in the sleeves and one of the things too that I wanted to mention 
is that I'm not putting these in any kind of order. I may down the road um, get adventurous and go ahead and um, alpha <laughs> put them in alphabetical order. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I mean, there's always a possibility, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to find the items that I need when they're broke down in categories. Oh, and I did just now find the dill pickle recipe, so I can put that in my canning. And uh, this one I did actually end up retyping because it was wrote on a small little piece of uh, paper. And this was um, Hubby's Aunt Jean's pickle dill dill pickle recipe. And oh, this is these pickles are to die for. One of my favorites. So I went ahead and put that under canning. So now I'm going to take tab two right here. And remember here it says appetizers and canning for tab two. Open my binder. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my tab two in there. And then I'm going to put in the appetizer sleeve and put in all my appetizer recipes. Okay, my friends, so I thought I'd do um, a quick update. I have inserted the first 10 tabs. And again, like I said, here are one through 10 for the first set, and then the additional is right behind there. So the first one is my air fryer and dehydrator, and right behind that is the air fryer recipes. And a quick um, flip, you'll see then the dehydrator recipes will be behind that. Number two is my appetizers, and again, a quick flip, and you'll see my canning is right behind that. So what I decided to do is any of the recipes that I had, um, I'm sorry for the light, any of the recipes that I had that had the index cards, I'm going to put those up front. And the reason for that is, is because I only have two in here, but I have room for more. And if I have it scattered throughout the book, then I'll end up wasting these sleeves. So if they're up front, I know how much space I have and whether or not I need to add another sleeve. So I'm going to try to keep those up front just to make it easier and also um, just a little more, a little more economical. And um, I do want to mention, and I should have mentioned this early on, um, you do not have to use sleeves if you don't want to. You can just three-hole punch your recipes and put them in the binder. I just find that I can take the sleeve out, lay it on the counter, and it'll save my recipes from getting um, food on it or stains or whatever. But you do not have to use these sleeves. They are inexpensive on Amazon, but again, you don't have to use them. You can just three-hole punch, and that will work as well. And then um, I just continued it. You know, my, my andouille sausage is there. And then I have my crock pot recipes. Okay, so that is my one through 10 category. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the next 10. And I will um, come back in and show you the final product. All right, my friends, my book is complete, and I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Here is, let's see, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. There is the cover of the book. And there's my, let's see if we can put that up there, the spine. Okay, and then we open it up, and in the front here in the pocket, I put my, um, air fryer, crock pot, and all that um, manuals and bo instruction booklets in there. And then over here, I have my two divider, or my two index tabs that I um, had in the front. The thing that I was thinking about is that um, I'm afraid that they might get um, wet or 
uh, messed up a little bit. I don't know how this worked out, but I ended up with three of the sleeves left. I am going to order some more actually so I have more so I can use recipes. But what I was thinking, I was like, oh, let me put this inside a sleeve to protect it. But I forgot this is the extra wide, so it actually is too large to fit into the sleeve. So it actually lines up um, with the actual, um, oh, wait a minute, maybe it will. Let's try this. Will this fit in there? Oh, I think I'm wrong, friends. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I thought it was too wide. So now I have this in the protective sleeve and it will not get damaged. Oh my goodness. So that is, I for some reason the way I was looking at it, it seemed like it was too large. Oh, here I sat and was trying to come up with a, an idea. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll open my binder here. And insert those in. I am so excited now that no, that no longer would be a worry about it um, becoming damaged. So I'm going to put my hand under here so I can lift it up a little bit so you can see it better. So what I did was have I have these here again. We talked about this number one air fryer one two. And the thing I like too is you don't even really um, the color coding. I love the way the color is at the end here. So you can kind of quickly take a glance at it. So there we have our air fryer and all my recipes are behind that. And what I did was if the recipe was two pages long, I just put it in one sleeve, the front of the, and the back of the recipe. If I had a one page recipe, I just put two recipes, another one on the back side, just to save on my um, sleeves. And then, We'll flick through and I have my dehydrator page in there and then we flip to tab two and again I want to mention that some of these pictures are not mine this particular one is not mine um, there's about three or four of them that I did not have pictures of and I will eventually switch those out to my own and I will upload that file for you um, if you guys want um, to be able to print this out for yourself and then again, like I mentioned, I have the uh, four by six recipe card sleeves in the front. This will help me um, wasting the sleeves because if they're in the front, then I know um, that I have extra space and I can put them in the back or if I need to add an extra sleeve. And then again, you know, we just go right on through with all the recipes. And then there's the canning in there. And then we flick to number three. And that's my sausage and just go through when we have my crock pot and you could like do crock pot and um, insta pot for this one then i have my beef and i was thinking um, about maybe um, breaking this down a little further with ground beef um, in this one I don't have to if I do get more recipes I may eventually down the road so just because you have it set up this way doesn't mean you can't you know add to it or take away from it um, you know do what works well for you and again the same thing with breakfast I just have breakfast and um, you can break that down where you have a uh, breakfast and then you have eggs and you know maybe casserole breakfast casseroles totally whatever works for you so the other thing that I wanted to mention was as I was adding these into my book, you know, this is a D-ring binder. It started to get um, full. So when I got to like tab five, I had quite a bit on this side. So what I ended up doing is I went ahead and put all these in their sleeves and all and had them ready and then what I did was I opened my my binder up and then I started inserting it backwards from 10 and I just put them in and then that way I didn't have to worry about them sliding back out when it got fuller. So this is my recipe binder. I hope that um, I gave you some inspiration. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long but there was quite a bit of information in this binder. It, you know for to put this binder together um, and I really like um, how this turned out and I hope you did too and if you have any questions or concerns or not really concerns but if you have any questions or um, ideas that you'd like 
to suggest that might make this easier than what I did, you know, please leave a message in the comment. I love hearing from you all. And so anyway, again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope that I inspired you to tackle that recipe drawer and um, get your recipes organized. And you know, this would be a great gift idea if you know someone that's getting married and you have a lot of recipes that you want to pass down. Um, it would be great, you know, how I did my page here where it's my son's hands pulling apart. You could scrapbook a couple pages and put in there if you have pictures, if it's for your daughter or your son and you have pictures when they were younger cooking with you, that would be so awesome to um, add that recipe and scrapbook a page and put it in the um, binder and just do a couple uh, pages throughout the binder of scrapbooking. Um, that would be a wonderful cherished, cherished gift. Um, but like I said, you can, um, you do not have to use the, um, sleeves. You can just do a three hole punch. You can divide the binder, binder in half. If you have a ton of recipes, just do one through 10 and you can have more than one book, but just make sure you go through, get rid of those recipes that your family does not, um, eat or you no longer like, or just, you know, something you haven't made in years and you don't have an interest any longer and just getting organized and getting it together will make meal planning a lot easier. So thanks again, friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I have a new video coming out. And I really appreciate you guys checking my channel out and thanks so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye friends.